Good morning, Ed. <laughs> oh, hi. Wow, this is an amazing spot. Yeah. This Where is, are we? This is Kenyakti in Apokoronas in Crete. Why are you here so early? Um, I'm here to watch the sunrise, answer some questions, and stretch and go for a little swim. Yeah, come. Describe Crete in five words. So Crete is wild, beautiful, as you can see, magical, powerful, and freeing. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to recently? So we've just come out of two bespoke personalized, whatever you want to call them, solo retreats back to back, which have been amazing. And now we're working towards, well, enjoying our summer, but also working towards the September Find Your Magic retreat, the Greek retreat. Ooh, sounds interesting. Can you tell us some more about that? Yeah, it is. So Find Your Magic retreats are what we call kind of immersive, personal growth adventures. So they combine, you know, beach workouts, sound therapy, Find Your Magic coaching, which is human design, um, discovering your uniqueness, what you love, tuning into your intuition, how you operate in your life, as well as it, days of excursions like to the mountains to of course the sea and the south coast but also this amazing waterfall uh, that we take people to wow sounds fantastic yeah it is what kind of people attend your retreats so oh look the sun's coming up don't know if you can see <laughs> so people that come to our retreats are curious open-minded ready for something new ready for new adventure the desire to challenge in themselves and to connect. Yeah, that's cool. Why do people attend your retreats? So people come to our retreats because they want some fresh clarity and perspective. Uh, they want to learn some new tools uh, for connecting with their intuition, for developing resilience in their life, to overcome some challenges that they might be going through. And they want to be able to return home with a kind of a new sense of confidence and clarity on whatever area of their life they're, they're working on. It could be their life, it could be work, it could be health, or it could even be relationships. Human design, I've not heard about that. What is it? Yeah, so human design is a kind of spiritual modality that helps people to really understand your own intuition, your own guiding system, but also some of the, the key topics, the key themes that you might be exploring in this life. It's a really beautiful way of bringing, for me, the spiritual and the kind of the energetic with the body. It's very much about how you are designed to operate, um, where in your body you're going to be feeling your, your intuition, and then how to live that in your life. Yeah, in a nutshell. Cool. Describe a Find Your Magic retreat in five words. Ooh, look at this. Well, that's a good symbol for the Find Your Magic retreats, actually. Well, it's beautiful. It's um, enlightening. <laughs> and it's magic. Fun. And care. We put a lot of care into, into our retreats. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do on the retreats? Yeah, so on the retreats, I run the beach workouts, I run the Find Your Magic workshops, and I'm generally hosting, guiding, supporting people throughout the process. Yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> you mentioned fitness earlier. Do people have to be fit to attend one of your retreats? There's no base level of fitness needed, no. We uh, completely adapt the workouts to whatever level you're at. Actually, the workouts happen on this beach around here. Maybe not so early in the morning, though. And so something I'm interested in my training, in my practice, let's call it, is helping people really enjoy your training. So whatever level you're at, the main intentions for our beach workouts is for you to challenge yourself a little bit, of course, maybe learn some new movements, but above all, to find some pleasure in it, to really enjoy that feeling of exercising, especially in these beautiful spots as a group. Enjoy that challenge. Yeah. 
And do you do yoga on your retreats? We don't do yoga in the retreat. Actually, one of our taglines is, this is not a yoga retreat, it's a bit tongue in cheek. But, you know, we've got yoga teachers attending in September, so it's kind of a bit everything. Come on, let's go this way. Wow, that sunset, sunrise is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear your partner's pretty uh, talented. What does he do? Yeah, Robbie, Rob Sykes is very talented. So Rob, he does this, he's a sound therapist who does the sound baths, he does a voice workshop in the mountains. Um, and he's an amazing guide, but he also is fantastic at creating all these kind of spaces for us. He really thinks about the sounds, the music, the smells to create these magical, immersive experiences. So for example, he'll be setting the table for dinner or setting up the ceremonial space or the meditation space and he's amazing at really creating and curating it to make it very sensual, alive and just magic. Yeah, that's his magic. So what would you say makes your retreat so special? Ooh, I think what makes our retreat so special is the fact that Rob and I are doing this together and the, the care that we put into our retreats. That's some feedback we, got, we get from everyone, is that we put our hearts and souls into the retreat. I've been running retreats for nearly 10 years and you know, I've kind of learned the hard way that that is really a key part of it is bringing people together and sharing what we love about Crete and really giving as much care as possible to the group, of course, but also to, to each individual when they're here with us. Yeah. Okay. Where does the retreat take place? So the retreat takes place in Almunia, which is a retreat venue about maybe 10 minutes from here in the village of Duliana, very beautiful traditional village. And in the heart of that village, there's a big space called Almunia Retreat Venue, where there's bedrooms, there's an indoor studio, outdoor deck, a sauna, um, big gardens, a gym even. And so we, we run most of our activities there, the workshops uh, and the sound baths. But we've also rented two stone villas right next door for people who want to stay in single accommodation. Yeah. I'm just looking at the ship coming in. Yes. <laughs> this is not to find your magic retreat. <laughs> this is not uh, the intimate connected. <laughs> What would you say are some of the highlights of the retreat? Some of the highlights? Well, the main feedback we get from people, whether it's a, a bespoke retreat or a group retreat, one of the biggest highlights for people is the waterfall experience. And so we drive to the south near Plakias, we hike up this beautiful gorge, swimming along the way in some of the, the cold water. And then at the very end, you have to swim through to get to this incredible waterfall. And it's just a powerful, experience you get to feel the power of nature you get to feel this kind of yeah all the cobwebs clearing and it's a real rebirth and people come out of it it's a real sense of aliveness and magic yeah right what about the food so the food so when we're at Monia, our friend Gita cooks delicious plant-based heaven food uh, for lunches and dinners when we're out of Armonia. When we do our excursions, we take people to some of the, our favorite tavernas. Uh, if, if you want to have seafood there, if you want to have meat, everything's welcome. And in the mornings, our friend Eledina, who's assisting in the retreat, uh, puts together tons of beautiful food for people, including some eggs, some cheese, and some yogurt. So when's the next retreat? So the group retreat is September 15 to September 22nd. And we also have a few spots available before now and the end of the year, which is kind of, well, it could be, you know, any time really, but the end of season is more or less October. Uh, a few spots for personalized solo travelers to come and spend some time with us. And how do people sign up? So you can sign up by just emailing us at hello at findyourmagicretreats.com or you can go to our website findyourmagicretreats.com. Yeah, it's very simple. Thank you. One final question. What are you going to do now? Now I'm going to 
find a way into the sea and go and have a sunset swim. Can Sorry, we watch? sunrise swim even. <laughs> yeah. Can we watch? Mm, you can maybe take a few steps back, yes, <laughs> from okay. over there. Okay, thank you, Ed. Thank you very much. See you soon.